Thank you for joining me today for a book talk with the Pflugerville Public Library. My name is Amanda Cawthon and I'm one of the Youth Services Librarians. I've got some great books to talk about today, so let's get started. The first book that I have to show you today is a very sweet picture book by Anna Kang. It's illustrated by Christopher Wayant and it's called Can I Tell You a Secret? In this book, a young frog confesses an embarrassing secret to the reader. I love how this book engages the reader in the story. It reminds me a lot of the Mo Willems Pigeon books, except without all of the temper tantrums from Pigeon because he cannot drive the bus. Now, while kids are reading this book, they are going to become the frog's cheerleader and they're going to encourage him to confront his, free, his fears and they're going to um, encourage him to talk to his parents about his problem. This is a really nice book to read aloud to young kids and it's a good one for new readers to practice their reading with a favorite grown-up. Next up, I have a beginner chapter book for you called Sadiq and the Fun Run. This is by Simon Narali and it's illustrated by Anjan Sakar. The main character in this book, Sadiq, wants to sign up for football because all the rest of his friends are signing up for football. But his parents think that he's a little bit too young for it, so instead he has to sign up for the running club. But that's where he learns that running can take just as much hard work and dedication as other sports. So something that's unique about this book is that Sadiq's parents are from Somalia. And it's a background that's not very well represented in kids' books. Um, the stories in all of the books in this series start off with an introduction from Sadiq about his family, and it includes some uh, definitions of some common Somali terms that are used in the story. Um, it's a good pick for kids that may be intimidated about starting chapter books because it has like, just under 60 pages and it's got full color illustrations throughout. The next book that I have to show you is Van Helena Takes Flight by Diana J. Noble. This is a historical fiction book set in the early 1900s. It starts out in Mexico where Van Helena and her family are preparing for her sister's quinceanera, but all the while they are worried about the dangerous revolution going on in their country. They make the difficult decision to leave their home and they travel to a small town in Texas. But when they get there, Van Helena is really surprised to learn about the harsh treatment of her family and the other Mexican immigrants. But Van Helena is not one to back down from a fight. I recommend this inspiring read for young teens and tweens. I love this next book so much. This is The Bells by Daniel Clayton. You've very likely seen this on display around the library because I'm obsessed with this cover and I put this book on display whenever I get the chance. Um, in this fantasy world, everyone is gray. Literally, their skin is gray, their hair is like straw, and they have red eyes. Um, the exception is the Bells, who are revered for their beauty and for their ability to control beauty in others. They are basically magical plastic surgeons. Um, but the main character, Camellia, and her fellow sisters travel to the royal court, where they scheme and they compete to be the queen's favorites but Camellia learns that being the queen's favorite may have a cost that she's not willing to pay. Um, this book takes on society's obsession with beauty and the push from popular culture to mold yourself into something that you're not. Um, it's a duology, so it ends on a cliffhanger, but the story does get wrapped up very well in the sequel. I'd recommend this book for all teens. It's a great read.